put the pot on this red. We might be able to play the cannon on the red by the black. It's a big shot to take on. Well, if you play the cannon, it's an absolute delightful shot. Yes, he's got the cannon. That was... It was something that he saw, and he thought he'd take the risk, and it could be... Thank you. A ...defining shot in this frame. You just Eight. sense the stage is set for a grandstand finish. Nine. I thought he played quite a good safety shot, a containing shot, but the, just the red that he didn't uh, play last time, O'Sullivan, felt there was a real way of getting on the black from it. Slight error there. I think he played the nudge on the right-hand red to be on the other two. Sixteen. In the left corner, but as you can see, there's no problem. Seventeen. Oh, that's a handy little flick on the blue. Ronnie O'Sullivan's 30th successive appearance at the Crucible. That in itself is remarkable, but remember, he came here as world number one. When he was coming through, a 46-year-old would be a veteran on the way down but he's still very much at the top of the game and he's prepared so well for this tournament. He's done everything right in terms of preparation. Just what needs to now put these away. 22. Twenty-three. Indeed, this could be 30. where it all happens. No reason to believe he wouldn't make a th substantial amount from here. 31. We've watched him all these years, Neil, as our viewers will have done. I know we have a lot of new viewers, but there would have been people there right from the start. And his career is unparalleled, isn't it? The longevity he's had is perhaps the most incredible thing. <laughs> Well, there was a, a spell before he became world champion where people knew how talented he was and thought, well, it just appears he's never going to achieve the great heights that uh, you know, his skill suggested he, he should do. Something of an underachiever was, that was a word people were using, but he's, they're very quiet now, those people, because he's completely proved them wrong. The, the skill and talent has already always been there, the natural... Ability, but the hard work that goes with it. And now, the big numbers, all the victories, the tournaments. There were many people that never believed he could be a seven times world champion alongside Stephen Hendry. They thought that moment might have passed, but. He looks as strong as ever to me. He will need another red after the black. What a moment this is. This Crucible Theatre has seen many down the years. This is something very special, because barring snookers, this red, and it's O'Sullivan's seventh world title. What a player. And if he can make a century, he will win the championship with his 200th at the Crucible. In the 30 years, he has been entertaining us here. 60. 61. There's never been anyone like him before. There may never be anyone like him again. A special talent. 68. A special character. 
who has retained his focus right from the start of this tournament. He was pressed by Trump, who put together an excellent afternoon session, but Ronnie O'Sullivan came out tonight. Renewed, refreshed and ready to go again. And this now is the victory lap. Seventy-two. Seventy-three. You can see the pressure just leaving him in these Thank you. moments, but I'm sure he wants for the crowd to finish with a century. Gonna have to be a double on the yellow. Judd Trump knows it's over. Just didn't perform on day one, left it late. <laughs> Snooker's greatest showman, Ronnie O'Sullivan, is in seventh heaven. He beats Judd Trump 18 frames to 13 to equal Stephen Hendry's modern day record of seven world titles. And what lovely moments between the two players at the end. They've both been part of history. But the last man standing at the crucible once again is Ronnie O'Sullivan.